in this World Malaria Day, we pay tribute, we recognize, we are inspired by the success of countries that eliminate malaria and achieve full elimination of malaria. And that inspiration um, has to be also um, owned by the high burden countries. There is hope, there is a road that needs to be traveled and, uh, and they will achieve it. Malaria has often been referred to as a poverty-related disease, one that is a consequence of poverty, of um, hard-to-reach populations, of some of the most uh, uh, underprivileged communities, but it is also a cause of poverty. It, um, it affects communities, it implies extra costs, and, and therefore is a source of um, economic underperformance. Malaria elimination is thus public health uh, imperative, but also an economic and social uh, uh, development imperative, and the call for justice and equity in, in healthcare. In the first 20 years of this century, we have seen uh, extraordinary progress in the fight against malaria in terms of uh, reducing number of cases, reducing number of deaths, and 20 countries having actually managed to interrupt malaria transmission. As we look to the next uh, five years ahead, we recognize two uh, major challenges. On the one hand, how can we bend the curve? How can we get back on track in reducing disease and death in the high burden areas? most of them in sub-Saharan Africa. But at the same time, because we all share a common goal of eliminating malaria, and one day seeing a world free of malaria, we put a special focus on the countries that are eliminated. According to our accounts, at least a further 25 countries that still have malaria transmission today could potentially interrupt transmission in the next five years. That would be a massive global public health achievement. And in order to support countries cross the finish line, WHO with uh, RBM and other partners are establishing um, what we call the E2025 initiative, the group of countries that uh, are within reach of elimination of malaria and uh, establishing a structure mechanisms that help them cross that finishing line walk the last mile to achieve the interruption of malaria transmission success is driven by political commitment which is translated into sustained funding it is driven by a health system that leaves no one behind, that ensures adequate diagnosis and treatment, no matter who you are or where you are, without uh, financial hardship. And this also leads to the robustness of the health information systems, the surveillance systems, to track uh, progress and respond to challenges. And finally, underpinning all of this is a, a strong, engagement by the communities themselves. Communities need to own the, the response, need to own the program and, um, and the effort to eliminate malaria in any given country. And all these elements, we see them no matter where we are, if it's in Paraguay or in Argentina or more recently in um, El Salvador, be this in Sri Lanka or be this in, in, in Algeria or in Uzbekistan places which are very different, uh, far apart from each other, but they all share these key elements. <laughs>